Alright, I can't believe I'm saying this, but welcome to my home. When there are others, I do the roots. I'm not renting, I bought this place, so I'm super proud to tell you guys that. Thank you for making it happen. The place the style, everything really reflects my style. I really wanted to make it a really heartwarming place, a really warm place, a place that I could just be really, really creative at. Second of all, everything that you will see, every single light, sensor, curtain, everything is home kit enabled. So I'll show you every single gadget that I put because there's a lot of automations that are pretty cool. So I'll show you everything. So let's start the tour where it should start right from the entrance. All right, at the Lemon Home, we obviously don't use keys. We use our Apple Watch to get inside of our house. So just by raising your watch, you're inside of your home. A couple things to note is I use the Logitech Circle View doorbell. So you simply tap and I get a notification so I can instantly see who's home, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you heard that, but my HomePods actually said Nikias is at the door, which is pretty cool. So the actual door lock is from a car. I've actually made an entire video about it, but long story short, you've got a fingerprint sensor, you've actually got a number keypad, a doorbell, and it's pretty cool. Something that's pretty cool as well is that when you close it, it automatically locks itself, which is pretty cool. At the entrance, we've got a couple HomeKit and smart things. First of all, I've got an Eve smart button, so as if I tap, all the lights will turn off. So whenever I want to leave the house, I simply press this and leave. And whenever I come inside of my house, I double tap and all the lights that I want to turn on actually turn on, which is pretty cool. This is actually pretty cool. It's welcome to the lemon home. Tap for Wi-Fi access. So if I bring a friend over, they simply tap and they are automatically connected to the Wi-Fi. I did it with an NFC tag, which is pretty cool. And then over here, here I've got my dog leases and the keys with my Apple AirTag, so I've got everything organized. Okay, then you walk in, the lights right here are HomeKit enabled, they are via sensor, so as soon as I walk, they automatically turn on. I've got this Eve camera, security camera over here, I've got a couple books, magazines, and this right here is Chenya's studio. All right, so Chenya's studio is currently not done, but it is showable, at least. So this is where she works, um, she wants to add a bunch of stuff at the walls and you know stuff is pretty empty but this is a standing desk from autonomous so she can work while she stands the chair is also from autonomous which is pretty cool this is called the avo chair because it's like an avocado i love this thing she's got her macbook her ipad pros over here she, she's got a tiny couch over here all the lights over here are home kit enabled as well but nothing pretty much to show you guys over here because once again it's not done yet Okay, and this is my studio. This is pretty much done. First things first, come in. As soon as I come in the studio, I open this, and I've got an automation that whenever I open that with the deep door and window sensor, these lights come in. Okay, so this is the studio. Um, standing desk from Autonomous with my beautiful yellow iMac. This is my daily computer, my daily driver. I love this thing. It's got the M1 chip and it's more than enough for me. The chair is from Autonomous as well. Super comfortable. I love this thing. And this is my backdrop for my meetings right here. Um, this is where I work at Riscam. I've got this beautiful Riscam poster over here. I've got my packaging. Um, I've got my business cards. I've got my Mickey Mouse clock that my grandma gave me. This is super, super old. Love this thing. HomePod mini, Apple Watch or Mess Box, and that. Over here is for you like. Come on in. So over here, I've got my entire Apple Watch band collection. I've got all the sport bands, the Link, the Milanese Loop, the Nike sport bands. I've got a bunch, a bunch of Apple Watch port bands. I've got my wrist cams over there. I've got a bunch of old iPhones. I've got a couple of Funko Pops over here. But yeah, I love this thing. If you guys want to see an entire Apple Watch band collection video, let me know. And I will definitely make that happen. Over here on the right, we've got my Funko Pop collection. Now I've sold all my Star Wars and Marvel Funko Pops and right now I'm only connecting Disney and Pixar Funko Pops and I love this collection a lot. And right behind me is my Lego Star Wars minifigure collection. We've got minifigures from episode 1 all the way to episode 9 including Rogue One, Solo, Mandalorian, I've got Baby Yoda over here. This is my latest 
addition to my collection. It's cute. Okay. And then this is where I'm gonna do all of my backdrops. So imagine, right? I've got an iPhone unboxing. Imagine that this is the iPhone. I can put it right here and I can put the camera right here. So this is perfect for top down shots. I've actually put a Stormtrooper helmet on the top because why not? So this is super useful, a space dedicated to top downs. I can do a bunch of B-roll. I've actually done a lot of B-roll already over here. And over here, I just put my tripods, my lights, bunch of stuff. All my equipment just goes over here. And then the whole idea about the studio as well is that these lights, these video lights that are, you know, with C stands and they just occupy a lot of space. I will put them on the top. All right, and here is Tanya's bathroom. Nothing really much to show. Black bathroom, black vibe. Um, we've got a home pod, home kit lights as well. Nothing pretty much to show you, but I, I wanted to show you. And then walk in to my favorite part of the Lemon Home. Welcome to the living room. All right, so as you guys can see, the living room is mostly where all the home kit devices are. There's so many that I can show you. But let's start over here. You guys probably are really familiar with this view right here because that's actually where I film my videos. So over here, I've got a huge 65 inch TV with these LED strips right here, which are actually pretty hidden really well. And the cables, like you guys cannot see any cables. There's been a lot of work for you guys to not see any cables anywhere around the house. I've got an Apple TV hooked up with a dual stereo HomePod setup, which sounds amazing for music, for movies, it's, it's really, really great. All right, and over here is kind of my latest addition. I put this little couch that is super comfy and I wanted to put like a small corner area that I can just simply chill. The sun touches um, like around this area in the evening and in the morning, so it's a pretty relaxing place. I don't know, I like this place with the plants and everything and it's just like my spot. Also, it's my dog's spot because she loves it, but we both enjoy it. Um, I've got this beautiful couch over here that I really, really do like. Um, this is where we actually eat dinner every single day watching, watching a movie. I've got a bunch of art books over here and books to grab some, to grab some inspiration. Um, give, me, give me some space. Okay, um, over here we've got the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Tim Cook over here. Um, got a bunch of magazines over here. I've got my fish tank, which is home kit enabled, the bubbles, the filter, everything. Um, sometimes when I'm filming, I don't want a lot of noise, so I, I get rid of the fish bubbles. Here's actually something pretty cool. This is actually the um, some rollers. That's home kit enabled as well. They go up and down every single morning. It's probably my favorite part of the home. This beautiful wooden table, homemade. I told somebody like the dimensions that I wanted. He made it out of pure wood. The quality of this thing is unreal. I love, love the way that it looks. And these tape, these chairs as well. So that's the living room. Something that's hidden as well is this. Did you know that this actually opened? Which is pretty cool. I've got all of my gear over here. Over here I've got a bunch of cables. I've got over here some home kits, products. Uh, I've got my audio setup, my GoPros, sunglasses, bunch of stuff. That's pretty organized, which is, which is nice. Over here, you guys saw it in a vlog when I made it, but this is my album corner. And what's pretty cool is that it's actually smart. So guess what? If I actually, I don't know, let's tap on Michael Jackson, for example, it's actually got an NFC tag. So it actually plays music on the home pods around the house, Michael Jackson or with my playlist, or with Harry Styles, everybody. It's pretty cool. I really like the way that this turned out. Okay, the kitchen. Um, as soon as you walk in, the Eve motion actually turns on the LED strips over there and this light right here, which is pretty cool. I've got a smart air fryer, which Robert actually got me for my birthday. Um, I've got a photo of me and Tenya over here, and I've got a Remy Funko Pop, which is probably one of my favorites. Meet Tenya's dog, by the way. This is, this is Luna. Maybe she. It's my baby dog. <laughs> and then um, we've got a bunch of cooking books over here. This is pretty cool. You guys would like this. An Apple Fitness Plus water bottle. You don't really see that often. I've got a HomePod Mini over here for timers, for music. That's where we use it. 
And then this, my baby, my coffee machine. Can't live without this thing. With some really yummy coffee. I wish you guys could smell this, but it smells really, really good. And I've got like a tiny coffee station over here. Smart, smart fridge. Can't really show you more on the kitchen. Let's, let me show you my room. All right, and welcome to my room. Probably the place that I like the least about the home because it is the way that it already came. It's not bad, it's just not my style. Um, here's where Tanya puts all her clothes. This is where I put all my clothes. Um, this is our bathroom, which is pretty cool. I showed you guys this, but something that's pretty cool is whenever I get a shower, the water sensor actually turns on. And then I told the water sensor that whenever the water sensor is actually triggered, this turns on. So whenever I get a shower, my towel gets warm automatically, which is pretty cool. That falls automatically as well, which is pretty cool. Um, water, soap, dispenser, HomePod mini. I've also got an Eve motion sensor. Whenever I walk in the bathroom, lights turn on automatically. Some dry flowers. Anyways. It's a bathroom. All right, and this is our bedroom. Not much to show once again. I don't really like it that much. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just not, it doesn't match the style of the living room, for example. A pretty useful automation that I have is every single night at 10 p.m., my HomePod mini will play bed music and the bed lamps actually turn on, which is pretty cool. That's actually a smart humidifier from SwitchBot, which is smart, and it's really, really cool because I really like it because that's actually pretty big and it just makes the house just smell really, really good, so. Yeah, also, Robert also got me this. A Mickey Mouse pillow, tonight. Thank you, thank you, Robert. Pretty insane, the amount of HomeKit products that we have over here at the Lemon Home. Hopefully you guys liked the tour, hopefully you guys liked the apartment. It's not done, Chenya's room is still not done. Um, our room is still not done, so still a lot to do but I wanted to show you what we have as of right now. And if you guys want to see how it evolves, of course, I'll make a bunch of vlogs about it. Thank you guys for making this happen. Thank you for, for making this possible. It's honestly a dream come true to actually buy a house at 24. For me, it just sounds crazy. If you were to tell me that I, I would have this place like three years ago, I would have not believed you. So all I can say is that dreams come true. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Be happy because life is good. And I'll see you in the next one. It's always